Underdog siya sa laban noong January 22, 2022 na ginanap sa Borgata in Atlantic City, New Jersey. At pagkatapos ng kanyang laban ay ito ang kanyang nasambit. This is my dream. My dream drew come true. Woo! This is my dream since I was a kid, since I'm a, a mature, and now I'm professional and now I'm a champion. This is my dream. Thank you, Rishan. BBC, Showtime. Thank you. Al Haymon. Thank you so much. Thanks to mulang magboxing si Jessel Mark araw lang magsayo nong siya ay walong taong gulang palamang. Bago siya naging professional boxer ay lumaban na siya sa mahigit. Dalawang daang amateur boxing contest at naging four-time amateur boxing champion sa Amateur Boxing Association of the Philippines. Tinaguro ang best boxer ng amateur si Magsayo. Noon pa man ay pangarap na ni Mark Magsayo ang maging isang world champion at magbigay ng karangalan sa Pilipinas. Ngunit paano niya ito magagawa? Alam natin na hindi madali ang pumasok sa pro boxing at lalong mahirap ang maging isang world champion. Sundan pa natin kung ano ang naging kwento ng tinigoreang Daang Magnificent. Pakisapak nga ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bidyong tulad nito. Umpisahan natin sa unang pro boxing match ni Mark Magsayo. Dito sa match na ito, nakilala natin ang tinaguriang Manny Pacquiao Prodigy. Panoorin natin kung paano niya tinapos ang kanyang laban sa unang round pa lamang. Ang mainit na aksyon sa lona, handog sa inyo ng Pinoy Pride 20. At, at um, narito po ang tale of the tape. Si Magsayo, 17 years old. Si Sandal, 19 years old. He knows his boxing. He says he's very quick, got fast hands, and he's a very promising youngster. Let's see what he does. <laughs> si Magsayo po, wearing the uh, black, black trunks. Samantalang uh, nakapula naman itong si Milton Sandal from Sambuanga del Norte. At uh, tama ka, Ronnie. Medyo kahit pa paano mataas ang expectations dito kay Magsayo. Oh, good combination. Oh, he's got Ganda. Ganda. Sandali. Si Sandal. Sandali lang po. Oo, napasandal agad sa lubid. Wala na. And I don't think he's gonna get up. He beat the count. He beat the count. Si Sandal. And he's in big trouble. Yung mga left hook, mabilis ang kamay na ito. Hindi mo isipin na bagitong boksingero, itong si Magsayo. Okay. Refi didn't see. Starting out like a house on fire. Scoring a knockdown with a big right hand. That's Giselle Magsayo from Tagbilaran City. Sandal fighting back, trying to fight back. Alam mo na yung problema niya. Masyadong telegraph yung mga suntok ni Sandal. No? Maluwag at mabalik naman ang counter ito si Magsayo. What? Alam mo na si, si Magsayo was member of the national pool but he wanted to turn pro. So he quit the national pool and turned pro. He's got fast hands, moves well and he's got power. Oh, another good left hook. And Sandal okay. is grabbing. May problema talaga ito si Sandal. Kasi nakasit ang suntok si Magsayo. Of course, alam mo na yung when you make your debut, you're a little excited. Di ba? Oh. Like carried away. So, you know, sometimes you throw punches, tend to miss. At yun yung nakakatawad kapag new camera ka, first round, medyo may gigil. Gigil ng gigil. You have to learn how to pace yourself. Tama sapagat, ka. Uh, ito dito, apat na rounds ko po ito. Maganda. Maganda. Oh! Oh! Cracking right hand from Magsayo. He hit him with the left uppercut and the right hand. I'm looking at Edito Alavino. Oh, he's smiling. He doesn't think this guy's gonna get up. No, he gives up. He gives up. Speed Wala. and power. Oh, what an impressive him. A debut for Jesse Magsayo. At meron pang additional. Uh-huh. Circus act. 
sa loob ng dalawang taon sa Pro Boxing ay namayagpag si Mark Magnifico Magsayo at may record na siya na sampung panalo at wala pang talo. Ang kanyang susunod na laban ay kay Rafael Reyes para sa bakanting IBF Youth Featherweight title. Tinapos ni Magsayo ang laban sa pamamagitan ng tape round technical knockout. Dahil dyan ay panoorin natin ang kanyang naging laban na tinapos niya sa pamamagitan ng stoppage. The government needs some help, so he came in. Medyo lumalabad si Reyes. In fact, I gave you previous round, round number four, to Reyes. Kay Rafael Reyes. Good combination by Reyes. Nakapalaban si Smart Magsayo. Right hand. Alam mo, si Magsayo, this is the first time he's really in a fight. Oh. There is no backing out. Para kay Reyes, he is coming in with a lot of confidence. May tapang, may lakas, resiliency. At dami mga patama ni Magsayo. But he keeps fighting back, this Mexican. Oh, good luck by Reyes again. Another hard right to the side of the head. You can see this goal. Magsayo wants to take some punches so he can give punches in return. That's not a, a good uppercut, but that's a dangerous tactic. Delicado. This is a war of attrition. Matira mati by Ronnie. Magsayo. Figuring in his toughest fight as a professional. Ito naman si Reyes. Dapat el reklamador. Hindi el guerrerito. Kita kita yung ulo. Referee Benz again. Warning Reyes. Good overhand right by Magsayo. You know, Magsayo should just... Don't worry about this guy. Just concentrate on what you have to do. Another beautiful swing. Hilo! 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 Hilo to Reyes! What a flurry! Oh, beautiful right hand. And Reyes Reyes must go down. Oh, another cracking right hand. Reyes in trouble. What a good uppercut! What a uppercut! Shot by what a beautiful combination by Magnifico. Dinepensahan naman ni Mark Magsayo ang kanyang IBF Youth Featherweight title laban kay Yardley Suarez noong July 11, 2015. Panoorin natin kung paano tinapos ng tinaguriang Magnificent ang kanyang kalaban so first round knockout. Three knockdown rules in effect. No standing eight count cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. Okay, so this is a ten round fight. Para sa IBF US featherweight championship, Mark hindi ka magsayo na kablang at ang kanyang kalaban mula Mexico na kapotik si Suarez. Matagal talaga to si Suarez. I couldn't see it earlier. Para kay uh, Magsayo, who they say was magnificent in sparring. So we got that shot. He needs to calm down, to relax, and stay with the game plan. Because it means that he might need aggressiveness uh, because of, of the nervousness. Good, good left right combination. Malakan Magsayo. That tells a good statement early on. Importante yung mga unang lang. Well, it did solidify a good action wow. and a body. Good combination. That was a very good combination for Magsayo. Wow. Oh, the solid. Did you see that body shot? Wow. That's that power, huh? Very impressive. Very impressive with Magsayo. The way he's fainting. The way he's looking at the opponent. Although, you don't know because Hindi natin alam kasi yung mga Mexicano ma mabagal and there's no starters. Uh, very good left foot again. So it's solid over there. Okay. Pero na naka-dun next to Suarez, oh. parang hindi siya nasasaktan. But let's but see. But you have to be aware kasi pal palapit ito si Suarez. Eh. With his rest, oh, good over and he's out. Wow. One left foot.
Ang kanyang sunod na nakalaban ay si Eduardo Montoya para sa Bakanting WBO Youth Featherweight title na ginanap noong February 27, 2016. Natapos ang laban sa unanimous decision. Panorin natin ang kanilang first round highlights. It took Magsayo a while to really establish his rhythm and Montoya beat him to it. There's a big left from Magsayo. Another big left from Magnifico. Mark Magsayo and that had Montoya holding. Kitang-kita natin kung paano namayagpag sa mga unang taon ng kanyang pro-boxing si Mark Magnifico Magsayo sa kanyang pagdepensa sa kanyang WBO Youth Featherweight title laban kay Chris Avalos noong April 23, 2016 ay tinapos niya ang laban sa isang 6-round technical knockout. Panoorin natin. Good left. Better than left. Oh, good. Another right on the inside. And right to the side of the head. Good right hand to the left. Avalos putting the pressure on Magsayo. Oh, Magsayo. Oh, oh, good exchange. Pero it's an enthralling fight. Magsayo, don't let your emotions relax. Good. Here we go. Ano ba yung mga tao bawat sports center? Oh, good double left by Magsayo. Oh, left. Be, he must not be careless. Good right, right hand. Good right he hand. hand. He hurt double up. Me. He's weak. Maniwala ka. Another right hand. Holding. Nagulpe ni Gulat si Magsayo. Good si right. Abalos. Abalos is hurt. Abalos is hurt. Gulpe ni Gulat from Magsayo. Magsayo with a fucking left. Another right and a left. He's catching Magsayo. He's catching Abalos. Abalos is hurt. Abalos is hurt. Abalos is hurt. Magsayo. What power. Speed and power and Abalos is in deep trouble. Another cracking left and a right. But the only problem is he might punch himself out. Oh, no. Nagulang tan siya. Si Magsayo. Another one. That's not a little bit. You see, he now in the Abalos, he can't hurt me. To encounter. Because he did come to you. Oh, good. Assault. Ibang klase talaga. Yun na sinasagulang iwasan na. Of course, Brian Francisco and Abalos. That effort by Magsayo. The overhand right and the head. Magsayo. Oh, big left. The boys are making a huge comeback, and he's falling again with a right. He better getting caught with. Oh, right to the body. This is a test of final plan. Work on his combinations. Work on putting his punches together. There you go. After a splendid round number two. Yes, yes, I saw that. You're supposed to protect yourself. At you have to keep your guard up. That's the number one rule. Well, yeah. I'm dedicating my super combination. He should fight. Big left again. Oh, God, they're going to knock out the opponent when they come to fight. You have to find out to sign which part. Oh, oh, big left. Oh, big left. Oh, big left. Oh. He hurt. Abalos. Abalos, yeah. Fight. We have a war. Magsayo. Oh, good, oh, good shot! Good shot! He hurt! Avalos! Avalos in trouble! Holding he, on! He might stop the fight! Arms and legs, Ronnie! Arms and legs! He's in big trouble! Right. What a comeback! One of the best we've seen! Oh, big left again! By Magsayo! Oh, oh, cracking left! He should stop the fight! Nakalaban naman ni Magsayo si Isa ng Pepeche noong April 27, 2017 sa isang non-title bout. Tinapos ni Magsayo ang laban sa isang agresibong first round knockout. We have dito sa Pilipinas Mark Magnifico Magsayo unbeaten in the professional bouts with 11 knockouts. Takes on the fighter from Tanzania wearing the blue trunks and keep the trunks na ating kababayan na si Mark Magsayo. And now Pepeche Starting off with a good left jab. Trying to set the pace. By trying to box from the outside. Alam niya, slagger ang kanyang kalaban. So he sticks the jab. But can that jab repel? The aggressive Magsayo. 
And Sayo is the WBO International Featherweight Champion. Everybody remembers yung kanyang makapigil hiningan panalo kontra kay Chris the Hitman Avalos who was a former world title challenger in a fight that Pansayo learned how to deal with adversity and come back to win. Oh, bumagsak siya doon kay Chris the Hitman Avalos but he came roaring back to stop hey, bring up Hitman Avalos one of the most exciting fights nakita natin dito sa kasaysay ng Pinoy Pride, ha? That was a big learning experience para kay Pansayo. That was part of the undercard na pagbakar Donaire, dito Donaire Jr. at Bedak. Oo, si Joe Bedak. In his last fight, Pansayo went to the distance kontra kay Ramiro Robles. But he did floor, knock down Robles in rounds two and seven before settling for a decision. Oh! 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 Itong si Isa ng Pepeche At binigil na ni referee Tony Tesos Ang bakbakan Eksplosibong panalo Para kay Magnifico Mark Magsayo well, Ladies and gentlemen Here at Pinoy Pride 40 Referee Tony Tesos Waves off the bout The time 2 minutes and 5 seconds Of the very first round your winner by TKO and still undefeated from the Philippines, Mark Magnifico Magsayo. Sa ikatlong pagkakataon ay dinepensahan ni Mark Magsayo ang WBO Youth Featherweight title laban kay Daniel Diaz noong July 8, 2017. Tulad ng dati ay tinapos niya ang laban sa isang first round technical knockout. Dahil dito, panoorin natin ang kanilang naging highlights. Okay, let's go over now to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute and 45 seconds in the very first round. The winner by TKO victory, ladies and gentlemen, from Tagbilanan City Bohol, Mark Magnifico Magsayo! Talaga namang panalong panalo ang Pinoy Pride, Mark Magsayo. Noong May 25, 2017, ay nag-expired na ang kanyang kontrata sa ALA Promotions. At noong June 4, 2017, ay nag-announce na si Magsayo na meron na siyang bagong promotions. Sa kabila ng pagiging matikas at malakas sumuntok ng ating kababayan Pinoy Pride, Mark Magnifico Magsayo, ay may nakikitang mga kahinaan ang kanyang mga katunggali. Sa pro-boxing ay hindi laging knockout ang panalo. 
umaabot din ito sa unanimous decision at ang kanyang kahinaan ay nakikita ng kanyang kalaban na maaaring magamit nila sa kanyang mga future bouts. Alamin natin kung ano ang mangyayari kay Mark Magsayo sa kanyang bagong promotions at sa pag-abot niya ng kanyang pangarap para sa kanyang world title bout. Ang susunod na video ang tatalakay sa mga ito.